think that's pretty much it. Forget my prying, though, a little bit with Karano. Mm. Did you see anything else? This... Whatever the hell that was. <clears throat> was it just in the Lord's chamber? Did he just have it as a jewel? I... No, we made our way to the poor district and found an opening to the aqueduct system below. It was used by a thieves' guild. Um, a lot of locked doors and such. But in the bottom of it... Mm. It kind of connected to this weird uh, temple place. And at the bottom of it was this artifact down there. Curious. That is strange. The entire dug out aqueduct system beneath the entirety of Corona. It's not entirely it's unheard of. Thieves Guild. Thieves Guild like that sort of shit. Nice and no, dark right. and. It was extensive, though. Very. Hmm. Interesting. Also, while we went into this There's temple sort of question. area, there was a uh, dead tree. A big, big room with a dead tree and uh, a lot of books, and it was surrounded by these glowing crystals. Hmm. Aside from the people, that's the only obvious thing that stands out to me is something strange that you might want to know about. I hope you're not planning on going. I don't have any intention, but that tree raises question, and I'll admit I've been deep in my books. So maybe at least an inkling of interest, but maybe not to risk my life over, that's for certain. I think Faye may be traveling there in this next wave. So she wants to check that out. I'm sure she can glean something from it. As dangerous as it is, it's beyond me. If it is magic hoodoo stuff, I'm way beyond me. Beyond me as well. I may be with them, but I don't have an inkling of it, nor an understanding. Yeah, I just nod my head. feel it like they do. <clears throat> um, but that's all I really remember. A blood moon. You had a blood moon here as well, didn't you? It was red. We did. I thought that was, was only in Corona. Enormous. It was. While it's usually a fall, a fall time of blood being spilt in a number of things, at least for least amongst cultures, but while we were at Corano, it was dark. The darkness I couldn't even see through. None of the drow could penetrate it. I don't know if that has something to do with the artifact or not, but that's something else. It was terrifying, Oshon, to think that that's how you guys see the world is... No wonder many of you are afraid of the dark. I've had to live in darkness for a long time, but you never get... You never get over it. Mm -hmm. Never. <clears throat> um, but... There's also some other news, I guess. Uh, do I have to call you my lord now? You don't have to. Please don't tell me I do. I mean, I think you're meant to, but I mean... <laughs> I'm still Kyla. We prefer Sharik. I do, but... I'll call you what you want to be called. I don't think it's up to me anymore. We don't want to confuse mm -hmm. the barons by people calling me different names and such. So, Kyler's fine, but... Well, I can at least say for certain I'm not going to be sitting with you on any sort of... Noble conversations. No, oh, no, no, there's this Kyler council meeting today, be. and I totally want you there. You're going to speak in front of everyone. Ah, uh, you already saw how much I, I struggled speaking <laughs> in front of all of you about Soma. Gosh, please, no. no it's it's no, crumble. I don't mind if you drop the odd Shariq or the Kyler, it doesn't really matter to me. Well, we'll see. Because remember, your payment actually for my services. <clears throat> I hope you remember what you offered me. You may have to remind me. Busy mind and such. <laughs> it's fair. 
A lord's mind is quite busy now these days, hmm? Apparently. But if you do manage to find time, hopefully, you and I are supposed to be training now. Mm, that's right. Day. We can do that. If I find time today, I'll hunt you down and we can do something. I appreciate it. Um, as for monetary for these services, I suppose these don't come cheap, so how much should I compensate you for? Let's say this next hmm, resupply is free, but from here on out, I'll offer more of a steady price, if anything. Sure, works for me. Seeing as you're at least holding your end of the bargain. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Thank you, Oshun. I try, at the very least. I don't think you understand how much I value all of you. So I'm willing to basically almost do about anything if it means to see your all survival and your success. Those uh, implements were paramount to our success at Karano, so couldn't have done it without you. Well, your secret alchemist is always have his doors open. <laughs> Thank you. I should uh, get back to town and check on things. I only just got back from the grove this morning. Oh, you were out there. Yeah, I, I sleep better out there. And, uh, Lisa wasn't sleeping, so I wanted to make sure she was okay. I have noticed. I haven't exactly... I wasn't sure what to do. She, are, she and I are... acquaintances. She respects me enough, and I respect her, but... I... Don't think my implications of something to help her sleep she would have ta she would have taken. Well, when I left her, she was passed out on the bed, so... Good news, at least. Oh, that's good. Anyway. Perhaps Tang will finally give her that large candy I literally made for him. <laughs> oh, you would not believe the size of that thing. <clears throat> Lucky her. <laughs> I'm more than happy to make you lemon sweets if that's what you want instead of powder. No, I think the others would be much more useful. <laughs> Fair enough. The pleasure is always so shun. Of course. <sighs> Morden, how are you today? I am better than I was previous days. I was swamped with paperwork. I was there almost all night. Yeah. Trying to keep tabs on the stone mine while looking away. <clears throat> it's been a task. We also have that council meeting today, if all goes well, I suppose. So that's going to be fun. I. Uh, Quite literally just had my meal right now because I don't know if I'll get one by the time it's done. <laughs> Eat while you can, I sleep while you can. a small room with people I would rather throttle <laughs> than do anything else with, so... I think Arn wants me to be there, so there's Best that. to get it. I can brighten up your day a bit. So Good. You... You'll get to enjoy the suffering just as much as the two of us. <laughs> well, at least we'll be amongst friends. I'm going to need to learn that. Uh, yeah. I know. I'm going to warn you here and now. I'm going to warn you here and now. You're going to see firsthand that sometimes bureaucracy, bureaucracy stops progress. Very much so in that room. This is going to fucking suck, then. I'm only letting you know. We're against the will of the elves, the Baron Kovaz, and his. Desires. We've got the Vipects that are less than amenable. You know the uh, leader of the Carter's Guild, so they're fine. They've been more than <clears throat> agreeable with us. The Merchant's Guild's more in, along the lines of keeping an eye on his coin purse than anything else. 
doesn't really seem to care all too much. Far and the attempts to deal with everything he can, but, well, the floor doesn't exactly allow for a clearer voice, and of course we've got that butcher, if I remember, was the moniker he was given. Yeah, <clears throat> Major Dario. Sure, he's fun My to work with. He and the he and the laddie had a bit of a falling out towards some troop movements. Apparently, the major didn't want to listen to reason. Ended up getting his ass handed to him for it. Ah, that was the skirmish. Yes, I heard about that. Well, we will. Undoubtedly, the repercussions will probably surface in the way of this. And of course, we've got the coronal mess to deal with. They'll want to know everything we know. Mm, we haven't debriefed them yet. It's been a couple of days. No. At the very least, we can push towards getting some of the supplies that we saw there. I know that there were definitely still survivors there, so the sooner we dispatch people to help them, the better. Agreed. We came across a survivor in one such warehouse, actually. We cleared it of all the demons and told him to block the only door because all the other doors were locked. So he should be alive. He's hoping. I'm almost thinking that that group that came with us might have been better off if they just stay in, stayed in their house, but if we hurt them, so would they. They probably would have perished. At the very least. At the very least, there are some other things we're going to have to address, and I, for one, am wanting to... There she is. <laughs> Where were you? Today, I was out by the grove. Mm. We haven't really connected since the corona. Good day, Lars. <sighs> yeah. For a lot of reasons. Anything you want to talk about? Speaking of, I'm about to go have a talk with Venora if you'd like to sit in, get you caught up. Sure, if she's Good day. here. Hope you're well after the. I'm not she is. Taking she's it. over there. Not like I you could. Doing... Even if you try. I'm doing far better than I have been, but I. Unlike some of the others in our party, things have been a bit quiet for me, at least, apart from the paperwork. That's the one demon I don't think any of us can slay. Alright, well, I'll link back up with you before this meeting. I'm gonna go talk with Venora. Meeting? I'm mm. probably going to be attending a council meeting today. Ew, those are long- oh! <clears throat> Sarah? Come on, pretty girl. You want to come with us? No, I was here for business. <clears throat> oh, well. Come on. Get changed. Understood. I'll have to link up with you later. Oh. Apologies. Hmm? What's going on? It's alright. Shit, I just come for my work. Fancy your battle. Fancy. Mm. Small council meeting. Different kind of battle. I always miss where this one is. There we go. Near the top. Whew. 
Your lord, your lord, your lord, your lord. <clears throat> to piss you off. I guarantee it. <laughs> Both of you, oh. actually. Oh. Did you just go so on me? Cute. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Who's just luck? Should I be expecting you at a certain time to know that you're not either imprisoned or worse? Well, we have to go verbally spar with the other nobles of the barons about what's happening not only at Carano, but the defense against a robber baron. So. Maybe a while. It's a different <laughs> kind of battle. Let's go. Good luck. Just don't get too upset if you Thank hear you. the screaming from down here. On that. And you. I assume I won't be and talking Nisha. much. Not you, sorry. <clears throat> like to this time, the likely not. Good. Uh, How open are we being with these people? Like, if we need to talk about the uh, diplomatic mission yesterday, do I need to talk about the poison and such, or? It's good points to bring up. We pick and choose everything that we say. Mm -hmm. We're obviously not saying everything, everything. It's politics, after all. Not everyone in that room is our friend. <clears throat> I figured. I just don't know where to draw that line. No. Well, Dario is in that room, so I have to tell you enough. We can go and see together. Who often spends his time trying to make me look a fool? Meeting. Returning the favor shouldn't be too hard. Why do you say my name? Lady Heidemann. Good day, Lord Edhart. We have been requested the small council, Major. And so I hear. And off we shall go then. Then we will attend. Excellent. Shall we? Anders, Rodwig, drinks yours on the way. You talking shit Best about me over here, Sanders? Best of luck, sir. I don't know what you're saying, you know. The lady Heidemann. Yes, I know. It was reported to me by Cade Shilbrook that he got eyes on Sir Richard Exter at Tello Keep. Where? Bloody and beaten to a pulp in one of the cells. Great. There's no getting into there. Great. Uh. However, did this... Yes, I did. Uh, despite the grievous news, he also might have a solution for you. If the robber baron is anywhere nearly as caring for his men as he pretends to be, we have been notified that there is a man of his that tries to frequent the clinic, a man by the name of Alberto, trying to learn to be a surgeon or something of the sort. If we arrest him, if he has any worth to the robber baron, we could do a prisoner exchange. Prisoner exchange. Yes, Lady Idemann. You would be willing to do it. An attempt of force could wind up in his demise, and I don't believe you want that. No, I don't. I also don't think that. She <coughs> silvers the lot. If you would be handed over to our landies. Do you think that's what he would do? I mean, here's the thing, Lady Adamant. Potions and the like. You wouldn't need a surgeon at that point. Uh, or training. Our are also training. foreigners. Perhaps you won't want to mind. deal with them. It hurts. It's speculation. I merely wanted you to be aware of it. Thanks. 
This is bound to be a bit flared. A lot of the liaisons are not happy with the current state of affairs. From the words this morning is that the robber baron has been skirmishing with our pickets. We've been hurt just as much as they have. There's been no progress made, thankfully. Still no word There's from the one boon. but we'll discuss that in the meeting. We have something that'll give us the edge. Don't worry. It'll be brought to the table. I suppose we'll find out then. Let us hope that the Baron's not in a foul mood. This could take some time to smooth things over. Well, we don't have much Quicker time. Than you we think. have to be as forthright as possible. I'm tempted to make a suggestion, but I'm not sure how well it will be received. Let's see how things go. <clears throat> Recollection of the day, or the killing. Good luck to us all, I suppose. Beware of the liaison's ire, they do whisper in the Baron's ears. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, there's these two keeping tight to leech. We can't afford to have more PCs. Ah, oh, they're here. My foot was oh, to the back of his head when he got done, when he was knocked out on the ground. Don't worry. I have him handled. Is something you should about? Lords, ladies, Major, it is good of you to join us. Good day, Baron. Good day, Baron. Mm. We've worked through most of the municipal issues on this side of things. Granted that you are now here to discuss your business. If you have a topic you'd like to bring to light, please do. Lord Odhart, do you wish to give a rundown of our recent incursions with the Robber Baron? I certainly can. I'll keep it brief. As the Council is already aware, a joint effort by both the Redard soldiers and the Imperium has been launched to try and negate the advance of the Robber Baron. The man is no fool. He has spent the last few years skirmishing with both of these forces. He's utilizing, I believe, the horses that he's been taking from these merchant caravans. The ones that he claims are because they are taking goods out of the province. He's taking them because they are long-range, hardy horses that can be used as a rudimentary cavalry something we lack 
The Imperium does not have horses, <coughs> and they have very few, perhaps 120 in total. With the amount of caravans that have been reported, Harla, correct me if I'm wrong, perhaps 90 or so carts in total on their way in and out. Some have duo horse pulls. They could have double the number that we do in terms of a rudimentary cavalry. If they just stampede the horse at one of our lines, even if it's in disarray, we will take immense casualties. And if there's any among them who know what they're doing, they might be training the horses every day that we are prolonged in this combative situation. However, things are at a standstill about a half a mile north of the Cross Keys Inn. Redard soldiers have dug in positions, utilizing crossbows and night killers. The crossbows are used to fire during the white noise and pauses that our Imperial allies take the time to re reload. They're focusing on the armored foes, and we're focusing on the lightly armored. But I'm not going to get into those details. I believe the Major, however, had an idea to slow the robber baron's advance, or at least push him into making a move, if you wish to sh Garrett, Major. There are several options on the table. Bear in mind. One such facet is Bolero. As of yesterday, a small diplomatic team, including myself, Lady Heidemann, Claude Erdhart, and one of my sergeants, had gone to the town to get a uh, oversight of how they are faring. I'll be frank, they are leaning more towards siding with the robber baron. They do not care for the actions of Radar troops in their province, in their town, and they are wary of Imperials. But nonetheless, Lady Heidemann, so fit to appease their need of aid and assistance. We are unsure of their decision at this time, however, if they so as sway to us, then that allows us to take control of the lighthouse within the canal. With that under our control, we can utilize one of our warships, park it outside Bolano, and strap mortars to the top of it. We can use it as a deterrent, as well as shelling what Sergeant Sanders has given me, key locations for the Robber Baron. It will not and you can fix be the issue, certain but... That these mortars would be accurate enough to hit what you are aiming for without any undue damage to, perchance, Belano. I believe your embassy is right Have nearby faith. as well, or anything in between. In our mortar teams. We'll stick the very best that we can on firing on their positions and we'll get exact coordinates. They know what they're doing. Well, it seems an advantageous position to take, though I will have to say, if the people of Blerno are giving you any trouble, they do still abide by our rules. Any action otherwise is treasonous, and I assume that you made that very clear to the mayor of that town, yes? Of course. It is well known to the people that the Imperials stand with the Redods, and their ownership of this province. Them siding with us is siding with you. Fair enough, ma'am. Good. As long as that is clear to the people that reside in Belerno, with a great deal of care and a steady hand, I should hope that they understand that they are under my protection from the robber baron and nothing else. They will see fit as such, Baron Mem. Very good. Lord Odhart, I assume that you approve of this plan as well. I think it should act as a deterrent to the robber baron's men. Seeing large ships just off the coast blocking the channel should give them pause to attack Bolano. My only concern is I believe that the barons should be alerted as to the disposition of the single 
pseudo-military leader present in Bolano. A militia captain. Yes. There is one such. His disposition on the Rodard dynasty is that of hate and anger. However, he is a citizen of your people, of your country. Of you. If he ever steps out of line, he will be put back into place. Is there any other within Balano that would be able to fill this position with a more amiable disposition toward their ruler? I would bring forth Lady Hardiman then. He knows the people more so than me. There are several. However, as you know, the mayor of Balano no longer exists. Such a person was done away with long ago. It is a collective group of varying peoples. We have from fishermen to old elders to the very lighthouse worker that works the lighthouse. I was able to get through to most of them. The captain was a lost cause from the get-go. He does not want foreigners on his, well, within the village he's trying to protect. And is also not But we must understand his circumstances. To keep it brief, since you have spoken with the people of Palano, are there any there other than this leader of the militia who are well respected enough and willing to take any position of leadership? Perhaps one. There is an elderly woman there. Name I can't recall at this time. An elderly woman. While that may do for some administrative issues, we would need someone new. And I would rather it be someone new than attempting to make <coughs> this existing militia captain work. I suppose we can find a young noble in town who'd be willing to prove himself for such a position. Under the stead of a local, perhaps, with them working in tandem, one handling any military efforts and the other soothing the souls of the people. Perhaps something could be found to work. Indeed. But as it stands, the Blerno people are not keen on Imperials Waltz. Then we will make in, them keen. The aid. Not by force, but by understanding. Thank you. I should ask, were there any demands from the people there that were likely to change their disposition? That's within our means. Supplies that were due months ago. There are poor people living off of only fish. There's only so many schools of fish in ponds that they can get with the little nets that they have. They have no netting as of today. They're going to starve if they don't get something. Perhaps we can send some okay, aid alongside this replacement. Old Hart, I'd like you to review the stock of the young nobility in town, if you could, and assign someone of, if not aptitude, then at least courage and enthusiasm to be able to replace this militia captain. I certainly could do that, Baron. Shouldn't take more than a day. I'll spend the rest of the day trying to figure that out. Right. However, I believe the word garrison was said by you at some point, Major. Bolano will serve as another means. There's an open field outside of the town, and it serves as a higher ground against the embassy, if it is to be taken. And as such, Valerno cannot fall into the rubber baron's hands. If it does, we've lost the war. So it must be Garrison, in other words. And soon. I see. Well, 
as long as there are representatives of the crown alongside your men, people will at least be less likely to take issue with foreign affairs occurring in the town. They won't be made to understand the necessity of your presence, if nothing more. I have no objections. That needs to be done. None here. No opposition? All agreement? Very well. No opposition. No opposition. Not at all. There was Good. the concerns of the noblewoman from Corona, Baron. Yes, and um, those were. I believe she had wanted a report of what happened there alongside yourself. Yes. I'm sure we are all I'm wanting to know. Very interested to hear. Once again, I will keep it very brief because we'll discuss what comes next. Corono itself as a city is lost in its entirety. Its population has been decimated. This artifact, whatever it was, Change the people into some sort of creature. It is very hard to explain. I will not try to. They behaved as animals. Ate each other. Attacked each other. The delegation that came with me to Corano had to fight through every single street and block and district. We reached the keep. The Baron there is dead. The only living authority figure beside yourself, my lady, is the Magister. The lawmen. Otherwise, everyone else is slain. There's a good 40 to 50 civilians that are tucked away in the noble district attempting to survive. But the rest of the city is gone. I cannot stress this enough. Thousands. If those walls are breached, everything that's in there will fetter its way into the countryside and undoubtedly make its way not only to Nodis, but make its way to the Trident farmlands. We're blocked off from it as it is now. But if they are destroyed, even if we get through the robber baron, we will not have a food source. I would like to petition the baron and the house Redard in totality to put together an actual military force. Perhaps 20 or so able-bodied soldiers in heavy armor to start securing each district. There are warehouses in there full of supplies that could help us win this engagement, Baron. Full of what we need. Building supplies, lumber, stone, food, weapons, armor, raw goods. The ship that we have can bypass the robber Baron unseen and pick it up. The manpower is necessary. This would be a costly venture, both in time and material. But, if what you say is true, then there is a great deal to be gained from it. You think it worth the risk? Allow the lady. Her family owned most of the warehouses in the district. My lady, if you would. Esteemed colleagues of the council, it is true my family <coughs> esteemed own these warehouses and much of the marketing district. And there are many untouched supplies. If desecrating the dead is what we need to bypass these claims the robber baron intends to make well on, you will find more than enough in these houses. Months of untouched wares. And these things, which I presume to be your property, if nothing else, at this very time, we would be welcome to them without seeking repayment or recourse. I'm sure we can sign documents 
For things can regrow in time, Baron, with all due respect. It is still a civilization that needs time and exorcism. And that will be understood. Uh, this contingent of men, should they be sent, will do a great deal to steady the throngs of these things that are present in Karana. I just want it to be clear that we are welcome to this payment, as it were, in exchange for this. I want no issues brought up later for this to be recomp recompensated. Come now. We are in a dire My enough situation as it is. We will have it on paper. It is always nice to hear it, but I suppose we will work we can out something the details for out now. We will. The time. Yes. Is there anything else that my home can help you with? Outside of supplies, I would bring one more thing to the Council's attention. The lady is the surviving senior leadership within Corona. I would remind everyone it is a Council-owned city. The Council would be beholden to anyone who returned their city to them. That's yes, all. I was thinking of and you being you, the Aaron, noble. We are grateful for you voicing our concerns. So few we are. If I may. Of course, my lady. Master Stonehammer. If we wish to properly make an agreement with the young lady and her city, my an immediate suggestion would be to aim for the noble district and remove the surviving people while they are survivors, preferably to gain as much as we can from not only manpower but the reputation of Nautis towards the council. It may also be wise to inquire, and I'm going to suggest this very plainly, that a member of the Institute be brought to advise those who are dealing with the city to avoid any possible spreading, be it indirectly or directly, of this contagion within. Now, hold on. Where is my Baron suggestion? I was on the understanding that there would be an army coming to retrieve these nobles that were barred in my city. Baron Kovacs is absent at that time. You may speak to me with any concerns or previous promises. Lord Ardhart, it sounds that you have seen <clears> it yourself. <throat> what became of these nobles? Myself, <laughs> thanks Stonehammer and my son standing behind me, were all present in Corona. The Noble District is the least populated and infected. But unless there were people bad in their homes not showing themselves, nothing but the dead wander the streets. I see. It seemed a large number of them tried to seek refuge inside the castle itself. We almost did not oh, make yeah. it out alive. I can attest to his statement, my lady, as Thane Stonehammer, I will say that this is the truth. We scoured that keep from top to bottom, and there were not but the dead. I will I make notes. The there were men sent by the Radards. We found them as well. They had met their end on the outside of the keep. So men were sent. I've but... gathered as much. Please. Of course. 
If there is nothing more my city can offer you, I will see the paperwork and we will hash the details on the morrow. And you will have your pick. Very good. I think, yes. If I may, in regards to the actual people we're sending, it seems as though our numbers are dwindling. Am I wrong in that, Lord Erhart? You said some men have already been lost inside. You are correct. This is why I'm saying that we should send our most armored small contingents, maybe ten men, who know what they're doing. Myself and the Thane can speak plate. They cannot bite or scratch through it. You can wade through them as long as you know what you're doing. Then what of some of yours, Sardo? Do you have any that meet that standard? Hmm. We certainly do have men bearing plate, but they will not come cheaply. Such armor is uh, expensive to maintain, after all. I would also advise, if I may, you may wish to bring blunt weaponry as some contain, some are still contained within their armor. You may find it more effective to bludgeon than to simply cut them to bits, as they have a tendency not to adhere to their wounds. It may be wise to have them be bearing maces. Keep that in My coin wheels have not run dry. Tell me how much we could do a mixture mm. with all the men and some of his. See that not that all of well. ours are taken. If you see mm. it so, Baron. If needed, that we are all in a rather major concern, maybe a dozen men in full place. Situation. Yes, Major, what do you say to this? If we were to send Imperial troops to an infected town as such, they would want to bring their night killers. That would attract not only the creatures within Corona, but also the robber baron to what we're trying to do. Most assuredly of men who are not to give such weapons. I would also bring up the concern that apparently there have been orcs sighted near that city. If you were to bring night killers, you would bring them down upon it, and they would not know what lies within. Then well, surely your command my could say otherwise. To kill the infection within Corono, they are focused on deterring and halting the robber baron. I have faith in Lord Erdhart and his ability to send these trained and well-vetted troopers to Corono and clear it out. After all, if Radard's soldiers are seen cleaning out and taking the town back for the council, and just Radard soldiers alone. I'm sure the council will see a great deal in your leadership prowess. Yes, uh, keeping in the theme of a concern with optics, I'd like to also discuss the recent battles that have taken place. I hear you're not doing so well in the field, Major. Me and Lord Erdhart are still getting used to our leadership prowesses and how we maintain situations. However, we have come forth with some plans to deal with the robber baron. You've come forth with plans? Our next engagement. Yes, one of which involves the use of our warships. The other mm -hmm. is scoping out and Finding roots the robber baron uses within the tree lines. Scoping out, yes. Speaking of issues with the robber baron, I know it was brought up earlier, but I don't believe an actual correction was made and how we're going to deal with it. No suggestion. This cavalry. What do you think best to counter this effort of theirs? The robber baron's best within the tree lines, and if he has this cavalry. Imperial soldiers are best fought in the open field. We could Imperial halberds. Imperial halberds would be the best way to meet the enemy cavalry, especially if they're untrained. 
a great deal of the terrain that would allow them to bring a baggage train directly to our doorstep has already been destroyed. A bit of infrastructure of the road sacrificed to slow them down and has worked thus far. But something that the Major and I have realized is that we do not think they're going to come along the coastline where the channel is. They would have the advantage in the trees, yes. But if we sent everything against them as they advanced, we'd be able to hammer and anvil them against the channel. They'd have no way to maneuver. They would surely be routed. Which means they're going to cut through the Sabine. You have roads going through the forest alongside the rivers. And we don't have the manpower to cover it all. What of the elves of Elfmurthalash? Have they been working with us on the eastern front? The rangers have been working with us, yes, but a reminder, my baron, they are about 20 in total. They have been killing the enemy leadership, which has been slowing them down, but it is not stopping them in totality. As I said recently in one of the last meetings, we gathered one of their iron shipments that was on the way to their rudimentary forge. But I will not lie to you. Reports that were sent to us, thanks to the Major via the Sordillo, is that they have fully erected walls in the Badlands, guard towers, and central structures. They're here to stay. I can bring a bit of good news to the table if you do not mind. During the assault on Cassetto, we were able to behead one of the four snakes. Now there are only three to to the current leadership, but that is not outstanding with the war boss that is supposedly making his way here from Agmardrod. He may be bringing a large contingent force with him. It would be wise for us to remove the remaining snakes before he re returns, otherwise his power base will be more solid. There's no way they'd be able to get through the robber baron's lines without him knowing. They have to be using the Vernfold Mountains. In that, I agree with you, and more than likely they are getting acquainted with others that have taken to the mountain tops. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my kin no longer maintain the roads, so I cannot speak for the manner of elk that currently inhabit them. However, uh, we may be manner. lucky that they have simply not put their way here. Do you yes. perhaps have ways to keep eyes on the edge of the mountains that are to the north of us, then? If they are even using those ways. One moment. At this point, as I am the emissary of my king, I see no point in hiding this news from you. So I will be blunt. We have lost contact with every keep this side of the Vernfolder Mountains, from the south side, closest to Ireland. Including my own. As for the mountain ways themselves, they are unattended as the gates of Vernfolder have been sealed. I cannot speak for the underways because I do not know the layout of the underways in this land. From my cursory glance, there may have once been deep road connections here. However, due to the shifting of the stone, they have more than likely collapsed and have been replaced with new caverns. Ones that, unfortunately, I have not been able to map. In regards to this as well, a concern that I had brought to the Baron Amem, I will bring before the Council. I have requested to bring some of my countrymen from the Thakarlic Embassy here to assist in the development of the walls, the protection of the Dodd people, and to 
aid in our endeavours against the Uruk threat, as I believe that this war boss is in part connected to the lands of Agmardrod. I would be remiss if I did not aid those who fought <clears throat> against them. However, that would need the consent of the Council. Were you able to establish and get confirmation that they would be willing to provide such assistance? It is not a matter of if they are willing to provide, it is a matter of when. Due to the station that I have been given, I have sent a <clears> raven <throat> and I have yet to hear correspondence from them. However, I have been given the power by my king to take any means that I deem necessary. I see. Mm. In that case, I do not see any reason at this time to refuse Master Stonehammer's proposition. Do I hear any voices of discontent? None here. None, None from me. Him, None from me. Then your aid would be most graciously accepted, Master Stonehammer. You and your people. <coughs> Once the ravens have returned and my correspondence has arrived, I would be more than happy to discuss the terms with you, Baron Amen. I believe the Lord Erdhart can help ferry my men across the channel, so we have a means of bringing my men across. The issue we will face is simply the housing of these men. A future idea that can be discussed in another council meeting, especially if we're keeping eyes on Von Folder's mountains. Perhaps the erection of a... a... Fortress is a heavy word, but an outpost that the dwarves could man and keep an eye on the mountains. But again, a time for another meeting. We can hash this out personally before we bring it before the council. I will consult with my people about the makeup of the mountains closest here perhaps we may find evidence of structures within that we can use there may be a keep close by that we can repurpose if it has been abandoned or forgive me but i may require to take my men on an expedition to reclaim one if it <clears throat> arises we will see what happens thank you master stonehammer with that additional aid, and your new stratagem as you brought it, I should hope that we should see better results in the coming weeks. One thing I'd like to reiterate upon, which I know I made clear last time, but you both are to be working together, and I should hope that your cohesion improves as time goes on. <clears throat> yes. Of course, Baron. Of course. I eagerly await to hear tales of your victory rather than of your defeat. Now, with Corona squared away, the <coughs> dwarven issue addressed, and the new stratagem, are there any other topics anyone wishes to bring? I would inquire, as there are two very conspicuous absences. What of the elves and their supposed aid that was agreed upon during our last council meet? Okay, have there been has... any words? As Lord Erdhart has stated, the rangers have been working diligently within the forest. I believe the Baron Kovas had suggested that he may be attempting to bring something more substantial. I think this is something that we have to say openly, Baron. Disappearance. Disappearance. If you honestly think it necessary. Questions like that, I think, make it necessary. Well, why don't you deliver the news then? So be it. A very short bit of news, but alarming nonetheless. The elven emissary and a majority of his contingent has gone missing. 
No one knows where he is. Or what happened to his men. I do. A number of... I beg pardon? A warford slaughtered them inside the forest. They're all dead. A I'm sorry. I have heard enough death for one day, if there is nothing left to talk about. What? It wasn't Tang. It was another defective yeah. one. Unsure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure the official councils. I'm, I'm sorry. A, a secondary message. <laughs> That's all I know. This is no, word. currently yeah, located. Rain is doing running around. The... And what? if this is the Warforge, I believe it may be. I believe I have seen it with my own eyes. Within is it the to city, be viewed as a threat? nonetheless. I take it we should be. If it took out the whole contingency of elves. I would also agree with the Lady Knowles's. The and you've seen this. I want any, any further reports of this spot directly to Lord Erdhart or my guard captains immediately. Any further sight? I had simply thought it. Lady Heidelman, how did you come across this information to begin with? A merchant who managed to get past the line. A merchant? Spoke to me in the dead of night. Indeed. He has no is name. It, is the merchant in town? Can we have more information from them, or...? He is not. No name. And I don't know where he resides. He's quite elusive. But he's the one who told me that the forest by the logging camp or so... There was a mass slaughter of these elves. And this report it is can be trusted. Any survived. Yes, it can. With the death of Miss Sev, no one's been at the logging camp for some time. A contingent can be sent to verify. A joint operation. If the war forge is as dangerous as it tends to be, Silver Knight is trying to deal with it. A small contingent. A joint patrol, then. Yes. Major, we can discuss this more uh, after the council meeting. We have no cops coming in and out, but I do have my <clears throat> God damn it, Ladia. Well, as for the elves, I suppose that answers the question at hand. Unless there is more to speak on. I think we've had enough excitement for one small council meeting. If you're I, me, I have a um, thousand to grief. The emissary of the elves. With the emissary of the elves having been attacked and his concerned. contingent wiped, we may be receiving a rather ill tempered response from the border. Yes, I'm sure we can all expect that. There's nothing we can do about it right now. We will deal with it when the time comes. We at least should try and identify, see if we can get any evidence that it was not something that we are true had done. We can speak on the roof. Thank you, Baron. Thank you all. If you have further business, you can find me in my personal quarters at the If one is out to this entire town and slaughter everyone. Yes, it will be a problem. Go through your books. See if you can find yourself. Oh. This merchant. I'll attend you if I know. Her travel, of course. I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. Not my business. Not my business. Let's not all speak together. See what I'll say.
Devils had years height of them. <clears throat> Holy shit, this place is extensive. Like, I know I snuck around here, but like, oh my god. <clears throat> yes, it was a strange choice for Lodia to say that. I wonder what she's playing at. Could be any more fucking stuffy in there if they tried. I'm sure they could. They wanted it to be. Very funny. Strider is than this expected. warlord's name. And him and Tang are friends. Forgive me. I... How long have you known about this death? That's a good question, yeah, Ardeman. Yeah. How long? Two days. And you didn't think it was apparent to bring it up? You said nothing to anyone. So it hadn't been for that. We know I now what happened. Sure it it's it's going to be a hornet's the nest over there. Gods above Heidemann. I have someone in Eshma now trying to rally support. He's going to highlight himself now. I have no way of contacting him. Oh, God. I should probably One step you. at a time, Erdhardt. We remove this war from the understand equation. how bad this is. If they decide that it was the Imperium's doing, they're going to be here in force, and it's not going to be something that they take the side of the Rodards over either. We'll all be caught in the crossfire. That was a we have proved of about twenty elves, all of which are from the house of in, house in Lamon. More than likely, have sought more death and chaos than any of the people standing before me combined, and they were wiped to a man. Strider doesn't like elves, or so I'm told. We'll have to capture this war. He doesn't like like non-humans, from what I've been told. For my so understanding, we'll capture the this only... wolf some fucking how and hand it over to the elves. That is the only way we come out of this without war. Bring your most trusted men, we'll my... bring Sotar's mercy and blow the legs off of the damn thing. It's simple, Erdhart. These men know what they're doing. Work. Work. No. How so? It is simple. It's already been in the walls and it was not using the streets. <sighs> this one's silent. It's nothing like the one that you see walking around town. It is more akin to an assassin than anything else. Does this it has a... Inquisitor needs to be made privy of then? I'm going to be honest, I don't think your Inquisitor will be able to do anything about it. It gets its hands on you. It's stronger than any man. It will shatter your bones. The two of you have nothing to worry about. It's not you, it's after. Apparently it hates non-humans. I had to that's, tell my entire... I had to tell my entire company not to exit this... Exit my home. After the, the point being... Is that it has killed a contingent of elves, which... The loyalists within Esmus Loss are going to pin on the Imperium if they get the so chance. And everything we're trying to do here goes for naught. Lord Erdhardt's right. We, we need to capture the thing. Survivors. Someone who might have witnessed it. It was a slaughter and a massacre. Survivors. You said they were all dead. That was I wasn't word. told all was dead. No. No. Then why would you 
Can't you see all? <sighs> Fine, forget it. Doesn't it was matter. A mass Heat of the moment. Perhaps there are survivors. Then we have to find out who. We have to send a patrol out fucking yesterday and find out who made it. Or we have to we find the so. body of the emissary. It only targets non-humans. They're going to absolutely say it was the Imperium. And the Rodards and Nordis will be caught in the crossfire. I'm only telling you what I was told. I saw its face when I exited the quill and blade, looking at me from atop a roof. It looked like it was about to pounce on us. Unfortunately, we didn't have a single human in the group. It was myself, Torte, Marco, and his cousin. There's a couple people I know Already. that should know of this, if this happened where you said it would, and I'm going to double-check with those sources. <clears throat> People withholding information. Besides the matter, we'll deal with the Warforge. If so be it, stick a non-human with our contingent, lure it out and take care of it then. <laughs> what other option is there? Are we going to scour the whole woods and try and find it? Trying to fight a Warforge is an uphill to an eventual losing battle. Ask Tang. Any other I'm going to be honest with you, Dario. With Tang it. has ripped through. A ton of your heavily armored Imperial soldiers with ease. No wounds, nothing. This one makes him look like a child's toy. We are not going to stand Then what do you suggest to do? Outside the box. I don't know. This is outside my purview. Machine oh, against the a tricky thing to deal with. What do you mean? You said it yourself. Tang has ripped through droves of Imperial soldiers. Sure, he might not stand a chance against it by himself. But if the war force is aided with Radod and Imperial troopers and people who know how to deal with this, Tang might be able to subdue the thing. He won't do it. Why would Tang he not? This is a threat to everything. Contingent. If he doesn't already know. If he doesn't already know. You're if asking he me why? You're questioning why he hasn't told us. Because that's one of his people. Dario. You're asking to hand over to someone else. It's, it's hard to explain. Listen. Imagine finding out you're not the last human on Earth. And you come across one of your own. If we were to subdue it, then trick him with that. We're not killing it. We're not trying to destroy it outright. We're trying to remove it from the equation, however. If he has a chance to speak with it, then let him give have that. <coughs> but he needs to assist because he is the only thing within this province that even stands a lick of a chance of surviving an encounter with it. We information gather first, then we'll figure out what we're going to do about it. Very confirm well. the bodies, confirm the emissary's death, find out who knew about it. <sighs> Kyler, I want you to seek out Tang and find out anything he knows about Strider. Understood. Tell him what we've just disseminated and make it clear to him that the only course of action that we see going forward is handing him over to the enemy. Otherwise, we might have a war on our hands, or a proxy one at that. I can do that. This is... Right. Possible war with Eshmethalos off to the side and off the drawing board. There have been skirmishes this morning with the robber baron's men. You've been pushed directly back to the cross keys, half a mile north of it. The disruption in the landscape has slowed them down for the most part. 
We've got highland trees on the left side of the road, open field, and the old battleground to the right. The issue is that if they do have this cavalry, we may not rule the open ground as much as you think. The only way that we would is if we were able to, <coughs> I don't know, convince them to ride into a line of halberds, but he'd have to be an absolute fool to do that. If he's smart, he's going to use those horses, and he's going to go through the well-walked tro- uh, path in the Sabine. I don't know what his target here would be other than trying to hit Cassetto instead of Belano. Perhaps because he knows Belano's already shaking in terms of faith in the Redods. If Cassetto was to fall, I bet Belano would turn. Calvary is the issue. Remove the horses. And how would you like me to do that? Mr. Shant. Per this morning, one of my informants has gathered information within the robber baron's keep. Valuable information. Citing the keep supplies. He was there. They should have more horses than this. They have to be split up between two locations. They have to be. And they shall. But if we can remove anything from the table, then we might as well. The problem is, if we make any sort of clandestine move, the hostage they have will likely die. Now, unless we're willing to accept that, we can't make a move. We'll do a prisoner exchange. And then we can learn if those horses are split between his own keep or Tethor keep. I have a better suggestion. I'd rather have half the horses they have to face than all of them. And the chance of the robber baron putting all of his horses together is likely to be none. So this is what we'll do. If this prisoner exchange doesn't work, if they deem that having a agent of the Empire, which is probably how they view him, considering his assistance, to be more valuable than this surgeon, then we'll have to consider something clandestine. I can think of three people that would be able to undertake pushing into Tello Keep under the cover of darkness. They would have three very important objectives. The first is to secure the cell and freedom of Sir Richard Exton. Get him out so they have no leverage over the Imperial Diplomat. Two, find out where their horses are being kept and release them in the middle of the night. Send them running all over the countryside. They're untrained. They'll go wandering deep into the forest. We can send our own men to go and collect them. It'll be time consuming, but they won't be in the robber baron's hands. Exactly. Uh, and the very last bit is to see if they can find any sort of information on the robber baron's arrangement of troops or whatever documentation they can grab. The horse, however, will have to be last as it will make all the noise in the world. Who are your three candidates? As proof, my son, obviously, would elect to send someone that he trusts, as I have him handle such things, because I cannot. I am here at the keep. Whoever he picks, I trust him. Very well. I suppose we'll have to put our trust in him, then. It hasn't failed yet. However... This could go very wrong. And I will say what needs to be said now. The main priority are the horses. Everything else is a secondary objective. You understand why. But every single attempt will be made to secure Sir Richard Exter's freedom. But if it looks untenable, they will release the horses and leave. The 
Is anyone in disagreement? No. No. We need to remove the cavalry from the playing field. I have no disagreements with your action. Good. Plans. Might be wise not to remove one threat and deal with the repercussions. The only other idea I'd have is if things go worse. They're sending in a shock troop of dwarves. Do as much damage as possible. Hit the paddock or the meadow that they're keeping these horses in and then get the fuck out. I don't want to go that route. There will definitely be casualties, but yours and yours are most likely be able to make that push. If it is the last ditch attempt to stop this, then it will need to be done. Well, let's make sure it doesn't get to that point. <clears throat> Over the next few days, we're going to have to figure out where these men are moving. They undoubtedly have scouts all throughout the Sabine. I don't know what they're planning or why, but they are. We can be as far south as Bolano as well, <coughs> seeing as we were rudely interrupted a few times. And we were accosted by these bandits that may or may not have had ties with the Radicalist and the Rubber Baron. Don't forget that already in the Sabine, from the start, the iron mine is a base of operations and a garrison. That's already deep in the woods. They will be sending patrols in and out <clears> of there, <throat> plenty. They might even use it for a staging point deeper into the woods. Oh, you can pay your Which... boat and over. That's exactly what they would do. Supplies. They've got plenty of people that they've held up, apparently, inside those mines, working for them. <laughs> It would be no issue to change their workforce from the mines to the supply lines, which would only benefit them even greater. It would be like a already founded fortress. The tunnels being excellent places to store equipment, supplies, hold up with That's fortifications. Right. You're looking at an inbuilt fortress. It's not wrong at all. Several options to deal with that. Some you may not like, but options nonetheless. Well, we can come to that bridge when it's time to cross it. For now, let's not cut the one we're on. Are we in agreement on what the next steps are when it comes to at least the emissary? Yes. Then let's act on it. We'll have several redonned men meet your men at the clinic, three in total. We'll send them out, see what they find. <clears throat> I have nothing else if no one else does. I'd like to talk I to you. I need to speak with you alone, Erdhard. We will speak. Say again, Major. I need a moment of your time alone, Lord. It's very important. It's about our radicalist issue. Let's step inside for a moment, lad. Hi. I'll be taking the leave for a time. I the Heidemann, if we can leave the floor to the Major and the Lord for a moment, they need to speak, yeah. I assume anything I hear, my son can hear as well. Of course, he's the heir to your house. That is correct. You have my attention, Major. I find it no coincidence of Kovaz's disappearance from the meeting today. Especially if what we yes, have I don't found. Think, I don't think anybody does. But I'm mm -hmm. not sure I understand your angle. What I'm about to say may or may not become a shock to you. Your disposition of Kovaz. We have interrogated the Radicalist Lieutenant Adler thoroughly. He has proclaimed and thoroughly so, let it slip that his connection within the keep was not just any noble, but Kovaz himself. Aaron Kovaz. This is what matches up with what Lady Hyderman had said. 
Who knows? Among other things that Kovacs is notorious for, Lieutenant Adler was a man who was knee deep in the radicalist movement. And I have every word to believe, <clears throat> or every means to believe, what he has stated. However, words alone in a dead man will not get the evidence we need to bring it to the Grodian Council. I'm waiting to hear the bad go on. We need evidence. Physical evidence of his <clears throat> either workings with the robber baron or the radicalist or anything that goes against preserving the Redard dynasty for ulterior motives. And how do you suppose we get our hands on such concrete evidence? You. Me. The people that follow yeah. you are very specialized in gathering intel and moving within the shadows. Peasants, for lack of better terms. People that are familiar with working behind the curtain. What I need from you and your people is evidence, hard proof of Kovaz's work or anything to aid the enemies of Grodian Council and the Redod Dynasty. Let me humor this line of thought and assume that maybe this is something that I can do. It would be very easy for somebody to turn around and tell the Baron of Mem, who has made me give my word that there would be no more clandestine efforts and everything would be done by the books and by the law. To say Spell me out and see me hang by morning. You're right in that accord, but I have no intent to sell you out. I don't want to fight this war alone. But fine, I get it. You want something to sweeten the pot. Something to ensure that I won't go behind your back and have your neck wrung. So I'll make you an offer. You're a man who's stuck in the past, Lord Erdhard, <clears throat> myself included. And I know your time in Grodia is only for that, to go back home. Is it not? You're a man able to read between the lines, I'm sure. Gewin and the Three Kingdoms are currently on the fringes with the rats, sailing their borders. I would know. It's not the kingdom it used to be. And under the Empire's rule, it has become weak. I know Dorst had made some deal with you back in Ireland, and I am ensuring that you will keep whatever he gave you close to heart, but I wish to make the same deal to you. If you wish to aid me in removing Kovaz from power. What exactly are you saying? Twenty some odd days it would take for an Imperial ship to get down here per any of my actions. Twenty odd days it would take, but less than that for you to get back home. And orders tend to get mixed up. Lines tend to move, men tend to waver. Men, countrymen, fall back in line. If you're willing... It sounds to me like you're soliciting something almost treasonous. <laughs> treasonous. Perhaps. It is the Empire we're speaking of, after all, and you and me have no love for it. Let's be very cordial with that. Now you serve them, I do not. Hmm. Yes, and there's an Inquisitor that took the man that I looked up to away from me. I have no love for this empire. I do what I do for survival. Bar the point. Erdhart. 
I'm offering you a chance for additional aid to get back your home and to stick a knife into the Imperium. It won't be Why? manpower and it won't what be do you get my personal aid. What do I get out of it? Plenty. Truly plenty, I'm but... I'm going to need far more than that to trust you. Revenge. Revenge? What are you on about? Revenge on what? The Imperium took quite a bit from everyone. Home. Loved ones. The Empire is a cancer. And I would see it removed if I wasn't tied to the dealings I am now. There was a particular man that I want dead. And hurting the very Imperium he serves may draw him out. And who is this? Inquisitive Victor. Victor Van Gaal. Are you mad? Yes. No, well, slightly. He's the man who took the lion from Adwick. My mentor. And I'd see him burned for it. You're asking me to put a lot on the line to trust you. And let's just be frank, oh, as you uh, said. You're not a man of honor, Dario. You're a murderous <clears> traitor. <throat> How could I possibly trust that you will fulfill your word? What is your goal? What are you aiming at? You say I've revenge. I told you my goals, Erdhard. They're on the table. The deal is flat and out there. I know you want nothing more than to return home to save the one you were charged with. And to save your country. I am offering you that, like Dorst did. You knew. Dorst told me a great deal. I was his butcher after all. What do you say on this, Carla? I'm not sure what to think. Have it in writing. Hide it somewhere. If he betrays us, bring it to the Inquisition. <laughs> 20 days is a long time. Enough. I realize it would take them almost a month to get down here. I don't think that's enough at all. All I would have to say is it was a ploy to bring myself out of hiding. Victor would be more happy with my death than anything else. Then I'll help you kill Victor. You and me. You know I have no love for that man. And I know you have no love for him. I can find his whereabouts and get you the information. See where he is. And we'll deal with him. Would that be enough for you? We need every advantage we can get. It needs to be secure, though. I have a number of people who have been in the castle before. 
We know the layout like the back of our hand, the servants' quarters, and what is the guards frequent in their patrols. If you can get me an idea of what I'm looking for, what could be puzzle pieces, perhaps, to a puzzle I'm unaware of. <clears throat> Names, connections, something. I can send somebody up here in the next few days. I'll hand you a list of any high-ranking radicalist or any known robber baron officers on our ledgers. Any missives to them. Any form of documentation of trade agreements or anything. We can use it. If you cannot find myself, hand it off to my son. He'll make contact with one of our agents. Very well, then. Do not fucking lie to me, Dario. I'm choosing to trust you. No, oh, I have no reason to, not now. Our goals are inside, Erdhard. More than you know. Hmm. I guess we'll see. If there is nothing else, Major, I must speak with my son. That is all. <clears throat> You'll get that ledger soon enough. Very well. <clears throat>